Can I ask you about that last play? Was that, what play were you drawing up and was that a matter of miscommunication or what did you see on that turnover? Yeah, so side of the bounds, uh, down three, uh, had an option for Mikhail to come to the basketball. They kind of played him on the backside, so he tried to um, uh, create a different angle and just uh, Roy, he and Royce uh, just weren't aligned on that play right there. But it was, it was more than that, obviously, than that, that last play for sure. And speaking of being more than that, in that fourth quarter after the, the success you had in the third, what changed in the fourth that allowed Philly to go on their run and get back into the game? Well, it boiled down to the offensive rebounds again. Uh, their ability to uh, gain some possessions when, you know, we kept telling our guys to continue to reward yourself. You're getting the initial stop, now you got to hit somebody and uh, come away with it. So, uh, you know, it doesn't look as skewed in the offensive rebounds, I think 11 to 8, but some of those end up being fouls, so then you're in a bonus. Some of those are, are direct putbacks. Some of those end up being threes for them. How much of that ability uh, for Philly to get some baskets was Nick being gone? I think when he got fouled out, he, I think you were up six. Yeah, he's going like 21 to 10. Yeah, the rest he's playing of the game. unbelievable for us. I think uh, eight and some change, he gets uh, kicked out, and uh, uh, that's that's where we're going to grow from. And so uh, I, I told the group they didn't give up; they grew up tonight. And so whether that is uh, Nick understanding how important he is to us, uh, he and I conversated after the first tech. So uh, uh, I warned him: no hanging on the rim, no. Uh, no, nothing extra to get himself kicked out just because I knew and kind of felt the environment that the game was uh, heading towards. Um, but it's an opportunity him for, for him to grow up, which is great. Shot going off that first tech, what did you make of how that all ended with Nick and the tech and Embiid staying in the game? I don't think I've ever seen that in my career before, Alex. For a guy to uh, intentionally kick someone uh, in an area that none of us want to be kicked at or towards and uh, uh, for him to continue to play. I've never seen that before. Um, in a game, and a guy continues to be able to play. Intentional. And then just that run you guys had at the beginning of the third quarter, what was working so well for you guys to get back in the game? We were getting stops. That was the biggest thing. We got stops, and so we were able to create some pace and get some, uh, uh, you know, everyone touching the basketball, got them in mismatches a little bit, able to get downhill. So the big part of that was really rebounding the basketball and getting stops. So uh, that's how we turned the game uh, towards uh, uh, our favor. Um, just needed everybody tonight. Jock, do you guys, you said you wanted the guys to, hit first, initiate the fight, bring the fight, basically what you said pregame. Is it disheartening because you guys brought that fight, you guys had that third quarter, but then the fourth, it was just the mistakes just kind of added up a little bit more? Well, you got to give those guys credit. I mean, uh, Joel hit some tough shots. Maxi comes off, uh, hits a three ball when the game's pretty close. Um, Tobias drives, and P.J. gets an offensive rebound. So... I give our guys credit, man. This thing's not perfect, and I don't expect them to be perfect. Uh, we had a choice at halftime. Uh, we could give in. We can be comfortable and let the game go. Uh, we chose to show up and uh, um, be confrontational and try to give ourselves a, a chance to win. Um, and that's all I can ask for this group. I don't expect them to be perfect. The game's not perfect. What the fight looks like as we grow together as a group, uh, that, that's what's important for us. Jack, Mac Maxie had those two clutch threes down the stretch there. Uh, on those plays, was it just really to take away Embiid uh, and, and he got open from the double, or, or what did you see on those two threes from him there? No, both of them, he had someone in front of him, so uh, we were still switching at that time. Uh, you give him credit for uh, just pulling up and making that thing. Uh, he was a difference for them in, in game two, and uh, with James being out, he ended up being the difference for them in game three. His ability to make shots, uh, get to the rim on a possession, uh, but we had a guy in front of him.